Hello and welcome to the 99th Monkey News, formerly known as the 50 Cent Tour of the Day. Today is October 11th, 2013. Let's begin our look at the news. This is an older article from September 3rd from InfoWars exclusive high-level source confirms secret U.S. nuclear warhead transfer. There's a story that's developing here that there's not an article on InfoWars yet, but you probably will want to look for it in the next day or so. A couple of very high-ranking generals have been fired, and they are generals who have worked, uh, at, as I said, very high levels in uh, the oversight of nuclear weapons, nuclear missiles. And there seems to possibly be a link between their firing and the information that was leaked to InfoWars about the nukes illegally being removed from a base. So, as I said, the, the story's kind of developing. It's not absolutely clear what's going on. It really seems like there is a struggle under the surface between good guys, white hats, whatever you want to call them, in the military and those who are uh, trying to maintain control for the cabal. I have a couple of articles from John Rappaport this morning. They're, they're just, they're both excellent. Who really runs things in America? For anybody who doesn't understand about the Council on Foreign Relations, the Trilateral Commission, what's, what's really going on in our government and in the world, this will be helpful. There's a lot of information here. John Rappaport is a genius at boiling things down. This is another brilliant insight from John Rappaport. Obamacare sign up rash. What's really behind it? And even as I am uh, making this video, I in the background I'm hearing Mike Adams talk to Alex Jones about Obamacare. And there, Mike Adams stated that there are two possibilities. This is either intentionally very, very poorly crafted or they hired the absolute worst uh, web design software people in the world to put it together. And I, you know, I was thinking, okay, uh, maybe this website was designed by the same people who did the faux birth certificate that was so easy to pierce. Who knows? But reading this John Rappaport article, this just makes so much sense. And, you know, we I think a lot of people in the liberty, liberty movement love to bash Obama. In some ways, I wonder if he's a victim. I can't stand to listen to him now or watch him. But the other day I heard a recording of him as a candidate. And he wasn't the same person then. Uh, he he didn't seem to have that manipulative way of speaking that he now has embraced. And I, I'm wondering just to what extent he really might have had good intentions. And now he's fine, he has found himself in a position of having to go along with the game. Here's just a quote from John Rappaport's article. To his advisor's shock and surprise, Obama, taking office in 2009, announced that his first big move was going to be national health insurance because he had stated that he wanted to work on jobs and the economy. So we wonder, in, in fact, the following paragraph, quote, his people sued jobs and property. The nation was clamoring for a solution. People were out of work. Banks were foreclosing on homes. Families were in peril, end quote. If you remember back to that time, this was January of 2009, and the banker bailout had just occurred in October, November of 2008. So this was following very closely on the heels of the banker bailout. And if he did intend to help people, which I can't rule out, he found himself once in office beholden 
to these forces that are referred to in the other John Rappaport article. And now, all of a sudden, the national health insurance was the top priority. And if you remember, Hillary was beating that drum for years and years. The globalists have wanted to establish this for a long time. And this, these two articles by John Rappaport, I, I actually considered just having those be the only things in the 99th Monkey News this morning. They're just, they're just so significant. But I will move on to some other news <laughs> that I found that's just really too interesting to pass up. Patriot Act author prepares bill to put NSA bulk collection out of business. Evidently, the uh, man who wrote the Patriot Act has now realized that it was a mistake to some extent, and he is working to block the NSA powers. He said the intelligence community had misused those powers by collecting telephone records on all Americans and claimed it was time to put their metadata program out of business. So, you know, people can repent. People can uh, find, can see the truth and repent. And I hope that we won't make the assumption that everybody working in government is a part of the cabal, at least a willing part. There might be some people in there who really have good intentions and have either been manipulated or misled. Here is an article from Philosopher's Stone, Avoidance or Awareness, the Emergence of Truth in the Media. And I have a few articles here about, about the media from OccupyCorporatism.com revealed Obama's crusade against freedom of the press. And I think that we're aware of that. And freedom of speech and freedom of the press, all the First Amendment rights are being pretty severely limited. Here from Blacklisted News, in a related article, the list of countries where internet freedom has declined most, and yes, the U.S. is one of them. Information on the internet is very difficult to control, and so uh, these guys are stepping up the efforts because the alternative media who operate through the internet have been successful to a certain extent. Here is an article from Washington's blog. 60% of Americans want a third party candidate for 2016. So I, this shows that people are becoming more aware, and certainly not thanks to mainstream media. From Oath Keepers, there is an article by Chuck Baldwin, Dates That Destroyed America. This is good. This is very good. It's kind of an introduction. There are some additional dates that I would have dropped in here. He did not mention the date that the Federal Reserve Act uh, was voted in. He did not mention that prior to the Civil War, the quorum was lost to hold uh, Congress in session and a U.S. corporation was created to replace the Constitutional Republic. And there are some other things that he didn't mention, but this is a, a good primer, a good introductory class for people who don't understand what's going on with our country, don't know why things have gotten so crazy. Here from LegitGov is an article, CIA warning on Snowden in 09, said to slip through the cracks. I have a couple of articles on Snowden. Some people have speculated whether he is a some kind of a plant, some kind of a shill, and whether this whole issue with him bringing out this information is being played somehow, if it's a diversion, if there's really something else going on and that we're meant to look at Snowden as opposed to something else. 
I'm not sure of that. I'm becoming less convinced of that based on having heard that he had released 15,000 pages of information. And as people are going through that, it seems that they are finding some significant information there. Here's another article on Snowden. Like Edward Snowden, Benjamin Franklin was called a traitor for informing the people about the actions of its government. So this is from the Daily Sheeple. Obviously a very pro-Snowden article. And I don't believe that he was a traitor. I believe that, you know, obedience to, as Alex Jones always says, obedience to tyrants is disobedience to God or whatever it is that he says. I don't believe that we're obligated to obey tyrants. I believe that uh, we, uh, we keep our conscience turned on and we filter things. And when something does not seem right, we either discuss it or we take some kind of action. And our good news of the day from naturalnews.com. Amaranth is a gluten-free and super healthy source of protein. So if you need to stock up on some protein sources, amaranth is healthy, gluten-free, and a great source of protein. With that little insight, we thank you for joining us for today's news. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And hope that you're having a great day, that you will have a wonderful weekend with some rest and recreation. Also hoping that you will love one another, take care, and insist on liberty.